God help this man. An African migrant handcuffed by the police for selling counterfeit producers on the street of Manhattan. The struggle is real. In New York, being caught selling counterfeit products can lead to various charges depending on the nature and extent of the offense. Here are potential charges that can be laid against this man if he was a resident but being an immigrant. I am not sure if deportation can happen. These charges are in three degrees. One, trademark counterfeiting in the third degree is a class of misdemeanor for selling counterfeit goods with a retail value of up to $1,000. Two, trademark counterfeiting in the second degree is a class E felony for selling counterfeit goods with a retail value of more than $1,000 but less than $100,000. Three, trademark counterfeiting in the first degree is a class C felony for selling counterfeit goods with a retail value of $100,000 or more. Criminal possession of forgery devices is another charge, which involves possessing any tools or devices intended to create counterfeit goods. If the sale of counterfeit products involves theft or fraud, additional charges like larceny or fraud might apply. Engaging in a pattern of selling counterfeit goods with the intent to defraud customers can lead to charges of scheming to defraud which can be classified as either a misdemeanor or felony depending on the amount involved. Selling counterfeit goods may also constitute a violation of New York's general business law, resulting in additional fines and penalties. Sellers of counterfeit goods may face civil lawsuits from trademark owners seeking damages, injunctions, and other remedies. Penalties for these offenses can include imprisonment, substantial fines, probation, and restitution to victims. The severity of the penalties depends on factors such as the value of the counterfeit goods, the defendant's criminal history, and whether the defendant was part of a larger counterfeit operation.